Hey everyone, so today's topic very frequently requested and it's how to use uh, your variables to change variants between different modes. So here, as you can see, we have a button component and a navigation component, uh, one component for our desktop and another uh, for our mobile. And what's going to, we're gonna have happen is to show how you can use your string variables uh, to change the variance when swapped between modes. So here I can see they're on a desktop and when uh, copy and pasted into a mobile mode, I can see that the components uh, change variance. So it's again, great lesson, very frequently requested. Let's dive in. All right, so let's start off uh, and build uh, two uh, button variants uh, together. Now, if you already have uh, the button co components from a design system, or maybe you have your own buttons uh, already, feel free to just use those. I'm just building uh, buttons in this lesson just so everyone can follow along uh, as well. So uh, let's just add some text, uh, say button. I'll be using the body medium, which in this case is our bottle regular 16. And again, all the styling that we're using is a part of our design system. The link for that uh, will be in the description. Uh, I'm just gonna add some quick auto layout. So shift A, and let's make the button a little bit uh, wider. So maybe our uh, XXL uh, horizontal padding variable. Let's also add a fill. So yeah, sure, red. And uh, now I'm just being picky, but I really don't like uh, square buttons. So let's add a quick uh, four pixel variable around the corners. Let's change the color to our text on action. There we go. And maybe we'll just get fancy. Let's bring in an icon as well. So let's say, I don't know, a heart. This will be our heart fill. Again, change that to our text on action. There we go. Uh, let's call this uh, button test and create the components. Now I'm only not uh, <laughs> calling it button just because I already have a button component in this file. Let's create the component of that. And now uh, let's add a variant. So now uh, again, we're going to have one button to represent our desktop for our desktop, excuse me, uh, which when dragged into a mobile frame will change to our mobile variant. So this one will be our desktop. So lowercase d with the desktop. Let's change property one to type. And this will be uh, our mobile variant. For our mobile variants, maybe, I don't know, we want to change it to color do I like? Blue, and maybe you want the icon uh, to change as well. Again, the use case of this really doesn't make much sense, um, but it was just to demo some of the functionality so you could use it in components like a navigation uh, where you really do want the component to change between a header versus a mobile. There we go. So now what we need to have happen, and again, maybe just refresh what I want to have happen, is here we have our desktop button. When I drag it into the mobile frame, I want this button to change to our mobile button. And what we need to have happen is actually connect text string variables to the names of our variants. And that might be a little confusing. So I do have a quick example here. So does the variant name, which in this case is either desktop or mobile, match the name of a string value within a mode, which would be as such. So here, let's create a quick string variable. Let's just call it button. Now I already have uh, a mode here for our desktop frame and then one for a mobile frame. And the string value of the mode, which is this here, needs to match the name of the variant. So for our desktop frame, our variant name is desktop. So the string value needs to equal desktop. Same with our mobile. We have the variant name of mobile and the string value of this button for our mobile frame needs to equal mobile. So does the variant name equal the string value of the mode? If it does not, Figma is unable to recognize which mode the variant belongs to. So let me do a quick demonstration of this. So here I have, let's just apply uh, this overall uh, text string variable to this symbol. So I'm just going to connect the two together. So again, button. And I can see that this is not crossed off. So what Figma is able to recognize is that we have um, a uh, string variable that matches the name of one of our variants. 
So Figma is able to connect two and two together. If I named this something else, like desktop one, look what happens. Is Figma actually uh, doesn't recognize it. So the variable value doesn't map to a specific variant. So it's really, really important that the name of your variables matches the name of your string, uh, or the name of your variants, excuse me, it matches the name of your string variables. So let's change that back to desktop. And when I do that, Figma should be able to connect the two together. So if the string value does not equal the name, the variant name, Figma isn't able to recognize which mode the variant belongs to, and nothing's going to happen. But if it does, the variance will change based on the mode. So here we have our desktop, and let's just make sure that Figma recognizes. Yeah, so this is set to our auto, our desktop frame. Let's bring in this. And nothing changes just yet, because again, I need to set this overall frame to our mobile mode, mobile frame. And look what happens, is now uh, Figma recognizes that this is our mobile frame, and this should be our mobile variant. And I can change them uh, interchangeably. Now, the button is kind of a weird use case because when would your button really ever change? Um, but this would work really, really well with something like a navigation. So let me just bring in a quick navigation component, top navigation component, and let's demo that as well. So let's open up our uh, variables, local variables. Let's just create a string variable for nav. And again, let's check the name of our uh, variants. So we have a desktop and also a mobile. Desktop and mobile. There we go. So let's go ahead and close that. Bring in a symbol. And let's just make sure that we can connect uh, the two together. So connect uh, our navs. There we go. And now when I bring in this nav to our mobile frame, I'm just going to copy one here. I can see that it adjusts. And it just isn't the right size of frame, so I'm just going to expand it just for your references. So this use case would, look a, would work a, a lot, lot better for something like a navigation, but I wanted to create the component uh, together with you to show you how everything would work. So that is how uh, you use uh, your variables to swap variants between different modes. And just to wrap it up, here's your friendly reminder to sign up for uicollective.co. Uh, you're home for everything design systems. You can learn to build a design system uh, or also uh, you can buy our pre-made design system right here. And here's just our preview file uh, where you get access to all these Unreal components uh, across light mode uh, and dark mode. It's about 50 plus components. Uh, 3,000 plus uh, different combinations of properties, variants, uh, best design system you'll find. Uh, and I'll leave the link for this in the description below. See you online, UI Collective.